And now, Jet 24 Sports with Mike Fenner. Welcome on in. It's time for sports with the 2023 season beginning Thursday for the Seawolves. Erie has released its initial roster for the new campaign in the Eastern League. There are plenty of familiar names returning to the ball club as Erie looks to make it back to back playoff appearances with the return of manager Gabe Alvarez. Erie opens the season Thursday at 6.35 p.m. in Akron facing the Rubber Ducks. Let's get to the opening day roster. Here are some of the pitchers returning, including the return of Wilmer Flores and Ty Madden to the Howlers. Austin Bergner is back. Fan favorite Yaya Shentouf will start the season with the Seawolves along with Chance Kirby, Adam Wolf. It's a lot of familiar faces to Erie Seawolves fans as we start with the pitchers. Let's go to the catchers. Josh Crouch, Julio Rodriguez, Mario Feliciano in the infield. Some of the names including Jake Holton, Gage Workman, Trey Cruz, Johnny 300, that's John Valente and Corey Joyce. In the outfield, Daniel Cabrera, Brian Packard among those back with Erie. This opening day roster not including the injured list, which includes Dylan Dingler and Andrew Navagata. Let's go to the big club. Tigers in Tampa facing the Rays after a 12-2 loss Saturday. Sixth inning Sunday, Rays up 1-0. Former Seawolf Isak Paredes lines one off former Haller Joey Wentz. Wander Franco scores 2-0 Rays. Seventh inning, Rays up 4-0. And how about this? A no-hitter intact until former Seawolf Riley Green grounds one to Luke Rayleigh. Beats out the toss for the infield single to break it up, but the Rays do beat Detroit 5-1. The final to Cincinnati Pirates visiting the Reds at Great American Ballpark. In the fourth, Pittsburgh down two runs. Brian Reynolds deep for a solo home run off Graham Ashcraft. His first bomb of the year, 2-1. Pirates down in the fifth, same score. And T.J. Friedel sends one deep for a home run off Vince Velasquez, his first homer of the season. 3-1 the final. Pirates go down in Cincinnati as they drop to one and two. Guardians and Mariners in Seattle on Sunday afternoon, late afternoon start, last check, 5-5, tied in the ninth inning. Let's go to the Diamond and local college baseball. Gannon home for Cal PA Sunday after splitting a pair Saturday. Vulcans leading one nothing in the third. Jake Visha retires the side for the Golden Knights strikeout. Fast forward to the bottom of the fifth. Gannon still down one nothing, two outs, a single here. Gets it started. Next up, it's Richard senior first baseman. Ian Hess with a single to left. And with two on, two out, McDowell grad. Jared Belanin blasts a three-run shot to left field. That one leaves the yard. Gannon grabs the three-to-one lead. Visha picks up the win. Fort LaBeouf grad and Mercier's transfer. Corey Shields gets the save in game one as the Golden Knights win it 3-1 in game one. And in game two, they hang on for a 2-1 victory, earning the Sunday sweep and taking three of four for the series victory. Up on the hill, McDowell grad Chris Yukno and Mercier baseball hosting Clarion for a pair before playing two more Monday at Clarion. Jacob Bazzalo with a pair of early strikeouts on the Mercier side kept it scoreless through two. In the third, Eric Chorba going to bring home Landon Dibereden with the RBI single, one to nothing. Lakers staying in the third. It'll be a bases loaded walk, putting Yukno on base, scoring Mitchell, or uh, pardon me, Warren grad Mitchell Grosh, two to nothing. Lakers. Double up the lead at that point. Mercier's picks up the shutout win in game one, six to nothing, as mentioned in, in game two. The Lakers win it four to three in eight innings. Yukno and Vince Snuds both scoring. It was a pass ball first and a Zachary Chorus sack fly to walk it off. Let's go to college softball. Mercier's home for Pitt Johnstown for a pair. Lakers up in the first game, two to one in the second inning. McDowell grad Casey Irwin, a grounder up the middle, scores Jessica Clark, three to one lead for the Lakers. Staying in the second, Madison Fry goes up the middle. That'll score Irwin, and it's a 4-1 to one lead for the home team. Finally, Slippery Rock grad Cheyenne Hidman will fly out to center field to score Fry. Mercier's ran away with game one in this one as Mercier's takes it 9-1 to one in five innings in game one, and in game two, the Lakers win it 11-3 to three over UPJ. Other PSAC softball action, Edinburgh falls 7-3 to Seton Hill. Game one on the road in Greensburg. They win it 2-1 to one in game two. Our Off-Road Express Team of the Week goes to the Boys West All-Stars from Friday night's East-West High School Hoops All-Star Games at Penn State Barron's Junker Center. The West came out on top 72-70 with Cathedral Prep Rambler and LaRoche recruit Tavion Spencer winning the game on a follow-up tip-in shot with just 2.9 seconds to play as the West All-Stars will go on to hang on and win by two. 
It's always good, you know, getting the community to come out. Um, it's always good to put on a show for the fans, everybody around us. So it felt good coming in here to see you. The last play, it was supposed to be a, a little layup for me. I missed it, unfortunately, but Tavion came in. He got the uh, follow through, and that was it. It was very exciting. Team of the Week is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Off-Road Express. Nominate your team on the contest page at yourerie.com. Get out and play.